for the thumbnail thing. <laughs> Dude, nobody talks about the shadows. Rarely they talk about the shadows. A lot of times, if you do any Google searching on photography, it's all about capturing light, exposing for the light, where to put the light. I think the shadows are actually more important than your actual main exposure. And the reason why is because shadows give dimension, dude. They just do. Doesn't this look creepy, eerie, cool? Like in a movie scene? Hmm? What makes this look awesome? <laughs> These are the shadows, man. Because if you just light everything up, the mood goes away sometimes. If I move the light source, I turn it away from me, this is my new quality of my face. <laughs> you can see the difference of that to this. Now what if I took the key light and moved the main light? Is that cool? Is it not cool? Do you like it? Do you not like it? How much do you want of what? Most importantly though, the way things look round, the way things give shape, or honestly where you're putting the shadows, where do they fall? How much do they cover up? How much are they accenting? Light and shadows work hand in hand. A lot of times I'm maybe working with ambient light in the room, but I could still use an LED light source in my pocket or even my phone turning the LED light on and scraping across subjects, giving it some shadow detail is what makes things look round. It gives it texture. It gives it dimension. That 3D look does not happen if you only have one light source coming directly at you because if you don't know this phrase you're gonna learn it right now flat light is fat light truth so every time you have a client in front of you for the first time and they're like I don't photograph well usually their only experience of getting their picture taken is an iPhone where's where's the light in the front or somebody has a camera but the flash is on top of the camera what are they seeing? Light from the front. When you spread something, when that flat light does this, you look wider. If you give shadow dimension to somebody's face, they don't look flat and fat. They look curvy and sexy. <laughs> That's a thing, man. <laughs> so look, the next time you want to photograph anything, I want you to pay attention to the shadows. You want to do something very difficult that you think is very easy? Go to your kitchen, get a bowl of fruit, get an apple, get a banana, put them together, do something, I don't care what you do, but get your flash out or get your LED light source out, however you would normally be working on the job, and play. And play and play and play and play and play. Move that light. Move it above, move it around the back, come around the side, come from down and up. You have absolutely no excuse to not be able to learn how to capture better images because we're all digital now. You're not buying film, you're not paying for the process. So I would love to see all of you guys attempting to do this and maybe your final shot that you are happy with. Go ahead and catch me on Instagram at focuswithgk. Uh, you can DM me. I have a, a, a lot of you actually doing this and it makes me feel so good. You, you may think you're bugging me, you're not bugging me. If I'm busy, I can't answer you. When I'm home in the evening, I'll be happy to reply. So jump on over to Instagram, DM me, attach some of your images. I would love to hear your thought process behind this because I want you to give yourself 30 minutes to capture something so simple, okay? Now the key is this, you still need to be in control of your light source. So turn off your kitchen lights. Just use the one light you have. I wanna see what looks good to you. I like this eerie lighting. So look you guys, I'll see you in the next video, okay? <laughs>
Uh, thanks for being here. Jump on over to Instagram. I'll see you over there later on. And most importantly, me doing this video for you is one more step of me staying focused on my dreams, which is photography at its best. And there's no reason to enjoy the top of that mountain's view if you climb to the top by yourself. Bring your friends with you, man. That's the only way we're all going to share the exact same dreams and accomplishments. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. Hit that sub if you can. If you uh, have already subbed, there's a lot more to come. I got some really, really cool projects I want you guys to do. You're going to like this because you can do everything at home. All right? Peace out. Stay focused on your dreams, and I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Oh.